So Sun is um, a platform that focuses on the multi-dimensionality of black male identity, mm -hmm. um, really honing in on our creative excellence and our activism, but deconditioning how we view ourselves, how we view women and the systems that operate around us through mm -hmm. new forms of media and narratives. Um, Sun began for me because I feel like, well, for one, when it comes to to like black platforms, I felt like nothing was really sort of like piquing my interest and in keeping it or nothing was doing the service that I felt like it needed to do. <laughs> um, How are you feeling? You feeling good? I feel good, man. I'm just happy to be here. Uh, do you do interviews normally? Um, it sounds like you got a mouthpiece based on like the the whole underground experience. Yeah, I mean, I talk a lot. Do you? Um, interviews, not so much. I think right. I'm usually like interviewing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're usually, usually given the interviews you're kind of behind the scenes a little right bit. right so yeah for me usually i'm nervous whenever right. when you're doing the interviews like when you're asking people the question no nah, when people are like asking me anything oh, okay. I'm, I'm usually like quite nervous but i feel real you feeling good you feel right now i feel smooth yeah, yeah. Nice. i feel good yeah. how you feel i don't know i'm kind of <laughs> is this like regular to, yet to you to nah nah because nah. i'm just i'm such like a I don't like saying much, man. Okay, <laughs> so okay. like every time I'm like, we start these these things, I'm like, damn, what am I gonna say? But then right. at the same time, like I don't have any talking points. So I, right, but at the right. same time, it keeps it like real honest, real natural for me. You yeah. Know? So, cause I'm, cause I'm, I'm like really interested in your like whole upcoming in your life and all that. Like, I like, yeah, yeah, like who you are as yeah, a person yeah. and stuff. So, so like. I right, saw so um, you want to start from the jump, like. Yeah, I mean, we okay. in it right now. All right, cool, we, we, cool, we cool. talking. All right. Um, so, how how you uh, first? <laughs> I was first, born. <laughs> <laughs> first off, what the streets need to know first, yeah. man, is like, what's your like whole workout like setup, bro? Because like you, you got muscles, man, bro. What <laughs> workout setup, man? Like <laughs> once a month. Um, there's like no commitment at all. Really? I think it's mostly like jeans. Um, right now I'm feeling real small, but really, I appreciate it. Were, like, were, yeah. were you bigger at some other point in your time? Uh, I go up life? and down. Yeah, like I'm, I'm quite up and down. Um, I'm never like consistently one thing. Yeah, it's just always moving. Um, so but is you see not so. Were you playing sports before? Or Man, the only thing I ever did was run track. Um, ah, yeah, you definitely got that High track. school. Yeah, you definitely got that. Track, yeah, that but track. I mean, I wasn't, you know, like, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't that nigga. I you don't gotta kinda, be all modest, bro. You nah, was killing me on the truth. sprints. It's, it's, it's definitely What were you doing? Truth, yeah. I was doing the um, 800. Wait, I never, every time yeah. people tell me, like, what so that is. So basically that's, that's like twice around. Oh, oh, so that's track. long, man. That's like yeah, long oh yeah, really. like it was definitely extremist. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I've, I've never really committed to any type of like sport. I think I began working out really seriously. Maybe <laughs> never actually. I I go in and out of it. <laughs> I began going me? in and out of it like last year. Really? You know? Yeah. yeah. Do you have commitment issues? Bro? Do I have commitment issues? Um, I used to, and right. now I'm I'm much better at it. Um, and that's in all aspects. In all aspects, man. I didn't know how I was gonna commit to anything until maybe a year ago. Um, Why a year ago? I don't know. Shit just changed a year ago, man. Yeah, I feel like um, I was able to solidify a lot for myself, mm -hmm. um, and just begin doing what it is I wanted to do. And so, huh? so you were you were um, 
we were talking in the car. So, yeah. like a year ago, where, where were you in life a year ago then? Like before the whole, the seasons changed, yeah. the times changed. A like, year ago before that, I was at school at UC Irvine studying Irvine, studio. Irvine, wow. Yeah, man. I'm, I go to UCI right now. For real? Yeah. <laughs> for I, real, for real. Yeah, yeah. I'm How not, long have you been there? I've been there coming up on a year now. Okay. I'm getting my MBA. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Are you okay? Like, are you <laughs> making it through? No, I, I don't know what to do with my life right now. But yeah, like I have. You know what is good is like everything is. Like I, I don't have time anymore, which makes me work harder. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's like everything has to, has to work. Or else it's just a waste of time. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I feel like... I don't know, man. For me, I couldn't get it right there. Like It yeah. just wasn't really the environment for like survival. For they, me, have, man. they have a huge problem with like diversity there. Oh, man. Yeah. You know, like for me, I... Um, Irvine was the first place I ever really experienced like racism. I thought really, I legit thought racism was like a southern like myth. Really? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And like then, if you heard about it, you, you know, hear so about far. the shit, but <laughs> it'll never be you. Yeah, you yeah. know, like so you you experienced like like just like overt like just oh man, I mean straight up in your face like yeah, oh, like you? it was crazy for me because. I mean, I had only gone to like all black schools, lived in all right, black neighborhoods, right. and I was ready to go and be in a so diverse up, setting yeah. and like connect and expand wow. yeah. my network. And I couldn't believe what I was met with, man. Yeah. I um, what was the first? So that was that. That was your first time experience racism, right there. Yeah. But what so, was the instance? So it began with my roommate. I did like a little mm. triple setup, which is when you live with like two other people in a yeah, small yeah, ass I room. Had that my first the worst time. shit ever. Don't ever, you know. It's a, it's a jail cell. <laughs> it's a jail cell. It is a legit sales setup, yeah. man. Um, yeah, so you get your assignment of who you'll be living with and shit. And, um, and I got the name of both guys, and I hit them both up on Facebook. Oh, yeah. And one of the dudes was like, yeah, man, like, nice to meet you, but don't worry. I went to a 70% black school so i could be ratchet what and offer it that's, that's like right opener. away like that's the opener that's right what there. he felt like he needed to <laughs> wow. get off his chest and um wow i thought maybe crazy. like okay like that's a little funny but yeah. i mean maybe that's his maybe humor. he just yeah. trying to be cool so yeah. i didn't really hold it against him or nothing um and then moving day Bro is in the room with his dad, uh-huh. and I'm I'm barely like getting into my first box of yeah, like yeah. unpacking, and um, he whips out a box of condoms, what? and he's like, "Yo, my dad wanted me to give these to you because you're black. You'll be having sex all the time." What? Anyways. The, what? Something's off with. with, with I legit you know? felt like I was in some like alternate reality. Yeah. Shit. Like I could not believe, and I didn't really know what to do with it. Yeah. You know, like I didn't like know at the moment at seventeen that I was being hypersexualized because yeah. of my blackness. I didn't yeah. even know what that meant. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um. But I knew it was wrong. Yeah. And was off for sure. Yeah. Like this I know that bad. that's not how you talk to people, and yeah. like it just ain't right. Um. And. Through my studies, um, I've, I've realized just how damaging and how toxic and, you know, just how um, insane all of that shit is. But it kept going. I um, I was, like, unpacking lotion, and, and uh, he said some shit like, I know, like, black people need they lotion, man. Man, every, so every little, every yeah. little nuance. Every little thing. And most of it is probably, like what that person heard about the culture. Right, right? It exactly. Wasn't, it was, because they're so... They've yeah. never been around black people their whole, yeah. Their whole life. Yeah. There's like everything was just like hearsay to them. Right, but what was so crazy to me was like on his wall was like Big Sean and Tyler the Creator yeah, and Tyga. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just kinda like, you worship niggas, but yeah. you're treating me like exactly. I'm some alien. Like Listen, man. Yeah. Listen, man. Don't even get me started, right? So like, like Yeah. I, I totally that's how high school was for me. Oh know? yeah? Yeah. Was it like a a mixed, it, diverse setup, or yeah, uh, or were you like the only one? I was like one out of three in the oh, whole school. Wow! 
Because I went to a private school. So Your parents set you up. Yeah, you know, man. <laughs> and I, I was beefing with them all the way up until, yeah, like, man. i say, like, junior year. That's tough. You know, I was like, yeah. man. I mean, so all, my, all, all my, my buddies went to, like, the other high school, like a public high school by the, by the house and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I got, I got there, and it's, like, 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes from my actual house. Yeah. Like, because... First, you're spending money. Right. And it's way out of the yeah, way. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, like, you know, every once in a while, like, my mom would be like, how come, you know, you're not... <laughs> this is, like, real, real fun. Like, she would be like, how come you're not dating any black girls? I'm like, mom. <laughs> I was sad. I was real sad. I was like, mom, you didn't put me in a school where there is any. Right, you know, right, like, right, right, right. But... You know, so I know exactly, like, so, like, a lot of the, uh, just, like, the, like, when the first time I got there, yeah. like, I, I played ball, I played basketball for, uh-huh. you know, I wasn't great at it, you know, I was at she home, was, home, but, like, yeah. first time there, the, like, they, they put me on the varsity squad, like, I'm not that good, but because I'm, like, I was black, they were yeah. like, oh, this might, he might be the next Jordan or something, right, you know? right. So, like, I understand, like, how... You know, people that aren't aren't used to that 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 culture of want to try to like tie all these things in with you, right? And try to make them as fact when it's just like, nah, bro. Like, this is yeah. how I live my life. I mean, my reality, man. Yeah. yeah. So mean, so how so that's the first day you you get the first there. First day, uh, yeah, man. You get there unpacking. Oh yeah. And then how did it progress from there? I had to move out. Really? I was how, like, yeah, how many? Like, how many? How long were you there before you moved up? Man, I was there for like the first quarter, which is like yeah, that's like I ten told, weeks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I mean, it took them forever for the housing authority to even like give a fuck, you know? Really? Um, and then uh, yeah, like that entire like the whole setup of that like hall was yeah. insane. Like someone had asked me like, what type of black are you? Like, oh, do you Jesus. like YG or are you into like? you know weird shit <laughs> or like yes. like just constantly feeling like people are just like taking parts of you and like you know like it it felt crazy man yeah it was like 80 people in the hall i think it was like four black people um yeah. and then i eventually moved into another place or prior to that i got placed into another hall that i wanted to be in where i had a lot of friends that and the guy that they paired me went like went behind my back and told them that yeah. i had done something to him and that he wasn't comfortable living with me right. so, bro I, I didn't even know what that was bro yeah. um and then i finally got somewhere and i landed with a white guy and like yeah. we didn't really talk much which was all right with me but yeah yeah I mean, sometimes <laughs> yeah. you know it's kind of like living situations yeah. where it's, it's kind of like you know it's where i sleep you know respect yeah. my space we just you, yeah. working it out yeah yeah um but then you know like i um it just kind of was just kind of an environmental thing on on top of it i feel like that entire city is like fake like yeah. you know everything is yeah it, it's crazy because you know like in in Irvine, I don't think there's any residences. Yeah. I think it's all like businesses. Right, like exactly. Or like exactly. Restaurants or something like exactly. that. Exactly. So it's like, what kind of city is its own city and has no people living in it? There's personally? nothing at yeah. all to do, man. So, yeah. you know, there I felt stuck a lot. And I was seeing a lot on, on the internet about like just people really doing a lot of amazing things in life and I felt like I couldn't really do anything from there yeah. and I didn't have a car so I was stuck there like oh, holiday damn. like it was crazy man yeah. um Jesus. yeah it was wild 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 and then I went through like really terrible bouts of like anxiety beginning my second year mm-hmm. um and it was like disabling like so you 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 lasted the whole year yeah Lasted the whole year. I lasted four years. Four. Oh, so you, did you? So you went through the whole four years. I went through the whole thing. And uh, you're you're still here. You still have your, your yeah. Sanity. Right. I mean, man, it took some work to get it back. You know, like I feel like I was. I feel like being there was just kind of like the opportunity for me to go through all this like mental shit to really 
begin to do the work to really know myself right. and to work through all my other traumas too right and um i feel like i'm better than ever because of you know like i feel like there i had enough time along because i didn't really have a social life there so really? i went from school to work uh-huh. to home yeah like you never saw me out I, I was i wasn't interested yeah and um i spent a lot of time with myself and working through everything and peeling yeah. at all of the layers man yeah. and um and went through some really tough times but thank god yeah you know like and it's 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 so it sounds like super debilitating because oh yeah I mean, like as as a human being, we ha- we all have this need to like we like desire community. So, right, 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 right. And it sounds like you didn't you didn't have that. Like you didn't have. I didn't. But it was just you yourself and not you, yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it know? was. Um, but I feel like that's been my whole thing. Like I've always been a single kid, you know. Yeah. Um, and are you, are you the only child? The only child, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I I knew I could just make shit happen on yeah. my own, or like I never really needed this or needed that, yeah, and, yeah. and I, I really wasn't into compromising myself just for the sake of having it. Yeah. You know. Um. So I was spent four years alone, basically, yeah. <laughs> and um. Just figuring out. And that was that was. What was it, what do you think the biggest lesson you learned in, in those four years? The biggest lesson I learned was, man, you really got to go through strong bouts of solitude to know yourself. But I also learned that I was closing myself off to a lot of things mm. too. Um, like when it comes to intimacy, mm. um, wow, like I have a very strong wall there. Um, why, is, just, why is that? Just because through life I've been numbing myself to so much just to be in like survival mode Mm -hmm. you know and um and along with that i didn't realize that i was closing myself off from myself and not allowing myself to feel um a lot of things and if i'm not feeling it then i don't know what's there then i don't know how to work through it so now if i'm in another situation um it's like my those those skills aren't there. Yeah, so you know? you, you're you're kind of like knocking it before you even try it. Everything. You, yeah, Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like everything. You could be having like you 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 kind of like stop yourself from having the best day of your life before it even like before occurred, it even like even before happened. the sun yeah. even comes up. You know? Right. Or like not allowing certain people into my life past certain like yeah, stage without yeah. running away and being like, yo, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm good, like yeah, I, yeah. you know, and um, because I've I've lived a life where I feel like man, ain't nobody gonna do me like I'm gonna do me. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and nobody's gonna love me. No like one is gonna me. love me like yeah. I love me. And I realize, yeah, like a lot of the like time that is the truth. But then yeah, there yeah. there are people who legit like they, they to, make a good effort. They man. make like a they, really good effort. They make a good effort that 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 helps you know right yeah exactly so it's it's kind of like allowing that to happen yeah um you know like for a really long time i wouldn't even let friends do anything for me like it could be yeah, just like I buying me I, water and i'm like yeah, nah. yeah. <laughs> i feel you know, like i still struggle with that man. yeah it's like, hard yeah like I, I i empathize with you because it's like a lot of and it's not even i think like my whole like I guess the way I maneuver through through the world is just yeah, yeah. trying to like be the fly in the wall. Right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, so like, right. like don't even notice I, I was even here. Type yeah. Of thing. And so like, so you acknowledging my whole presence and like trying to help me out. I know I feel like it's a burden on the other. It's person. like what's wrong with you? Yeah. Right? Like, like what? Are you? <laughs> or then like you start yeah. like calibrating stuff in your head. And you're like maybe I think down the line they're gonna. Have you know, right. you ask me for something else, and yeah, and then what if I'm not able? You know, and yeah. then I'll feel terrible about it. And so, like, you just, I don't know, man. Like, I totally get what you would, like, that whole mindset. That I'm still like trying to maneuver through it, right? Yeah, now. man. Like, so, what was like the, what was like the tipping point for you? Like, how, when did you learn that was toxic, or when did you identify it first? Um. When did I first learn? 
I think just in my close immediate like friendships really you know like feeling like I needed so much time to myself yeah yeah and feeling like that was the only thing that was gonna get me through yeah, yeah, yeah. when in reality like nah yeah. like like people really you know like people have been there and want to be there and I felt like um how could I push that away because yeah. I'll look up one day and not have shit yeah. or or not have anybody uh, pushed it all the way. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I but think that was the. Did you like? Do you have this thing where you like you kind of like categorize people off for oh, of it? Like, hell yeah, yeah. But I feel like um, I feel like that's necessary though, mm. which might be wild to say. But yeah, yeah. let me explain. I feel like. You know, like there are people who belong in certain folders. Like, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. I have this friend over here, and we bond over this. Yeah. You know, and then I got this friend yeah. over here, and it's something completely different. Yeah, and, yeah. and they see me. Yeah. You know, with yeah. that shit, and then yeah, they see where you, the spot that you, you know, yeah, they see you in that special place. Right. But at the end of the day, I feel like the core message of everything is the same. Like I'm still the same person yeah. on on all of these sides, yeah. but it's it's kind of like um, you're here. Mm -hmm. I don't really know if that would make sense with that person over there. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's it's kind of like you in this category, you in that category. Yeah. And it's all just like feeding certain parts of yeah, me, man. and I'm feeding them, yeah. of course, because I like to have like friendships that are mutual. But it's yeah. just kind of like people do different things. So yeah, it's, it's yeah. yeah. But I'm, I mean, were you talking about like judging right no, away or no? Not even, okay, not okay. even in like a, like a like a detrimental way. But I right. think like us as humans, we want to you know like want to. We're always trying to make order of the chaos, you know. Yeah. Just because you know, uh, we just we're just placed here to try to figure it out and stuff. And so, like, I think what I've noticed for myself, and I was wondering if it, 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 the same thing occurs for you, is like, so like when you meet somebody off first trip, is like, okay, and it sounds like you are like you know you you pick up on their quirks and their nuances yeah. and stuff. And you're like, oh, how this relates to me and stuff. Right. You know? Right. You trying to you, you start putting like this profile of this person and how you can get along with them or sometimes you notice things where you you just like nah I, I don't know if I I don't know or, or do you see where it comes to where it's like um, maybe I just won't show this part of myself to him because I don't know how to vibe with that 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 type of person yeah I feel like nah I feel like I've gotten to a point where I show myself to everybody yeah. Um, you know, which which to me is quite simple. Like yeah. I feel like I I don't really have too many sides. I mean, maybe maybe in certain parts, yeah. Like in my relationships, mm -hmm. um, especially in my relationship now, I feel like my partner definitely sees a, a side of me that everybody may not see. Yeah. Um, but I feel like that's usually how it might be yeah, but yeah. but I feel like um yeah like whoever I meet I'm always talking about all the shit that I like to talk about yeah, which yeah. is like social shit or yeah. like what I'm doing at the museum yeah. or dancing yeah. <laughs> you know so like um I just like to have a good time just in general um yeah and and sometimes I feel like okay like there 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 are certain energies right away i know i don't want to click with word, you word, feel me yeah it's like um i know what's for me yeah. right now um i know what will work and what won't work and then people i feel like i don't really click with like that and i i am a bit more reserved yeah um yeah. but i feel like if they catch me like being me then that's fine too, yeah. but i don't feel like i need to you know like let them kind of stumble upon let instead them of like kind yeah of like, their yeah i feel like who you are is definitely Always a gift be. yeah and um yeah, man. it ain't for everybody yeah, yeah. i think you're, you're just so like 
humans we're like just so uh we're so complex Yo, yeah, we're just no, and no there's no and it, this is the craziest thing about it, is nobody's the same and stuff. so yeah. every person you meet it, there's something about them that's just totally them yeah and it's is and like why wouldn't you want to like seek that out like there's so right. much out there right in the world that like uh gaining that perspective of, of that person is, is just um it's like you level up every time, you know? Right, right. So, I mean, like, it, it never gets boring. Right. But, um... What about for you? Do you feel like, um... Like you're a bit more reserved to certain oh. energies and then there are people that, that you open up to, like... Yeah, I, I think I'm, like, in general, I'm, I'm more reserved to everybody, mm -hmm. you know? And I think my biggest... Because I think I'm I'm met with like more apprehension or fear, you mm. know, when I'm when I'm about to when I want to open up because I'm like I'm always like I don't know if they can handle it, you know uh, what I'm saying? I see, I see. So it's like, what uh, is it though that you feel like can't be handled? Uh, just like uh, I think. I think we, I, me as a person, I try so hard to like be on good terms with everybody. Right. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. and like I said, everybody's a com complex person. I understand that about people. Mm -hmm. and there's, there's certain things with people where it just won't, where there's things about me that probably won't fly over too well. Right, and then right. I'm not sure how I would deal with it at the, at the moment. So mm -hmm. I'm like, usually I'm, you know, I'm usually taking like readings and like I'm just like, oh, okay, this this person's into that, and, and um, that person is, is into this. But um, for me to really open, it does, I don't think it takes that much to really open up to somebody once I know that they can handle it and stuff. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and so I I don't know, man. It, it it's it's a uh, like I said, it's a complex situation. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're all kind of like wearing wearing different masks all the time. At least I am. I I, mm -hmm. I don't mean I can't speak for everybody. Mm -hmm. So like you know, and when I'm at work, I got the work. I'm I'm playing the work yeah. role. You yeah, know, yeah. when I'm when I'm out, um, you know, doing my music thing, I'm wearing you know the music role. But like mm -hmm. I feel like when I'm in in the art culture that's like where i find where i can just be regular regular me you know what i'm saying yeah where everything is just all of those things exactly yeah. exactly mm -hmm. and it, it's it's weird sometimes you know you feel like you're one way and then the next day you're just like oh, i'm not that yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah like well, i think we're all evolving people all Absolutely, the time yeah. mm -hmm. so like so I, I that's why i feel like sun is like such a well first of all I have the hardest time describing sun to people. What right? it is? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of people do. I need to be, <laughs> you know, a bit better. No, um, the, so offer it, like, what is it, what is it to you? Yeah, so I'll give you the, um, the, you know, first time meeting explanation. Yeah, um, the, the, the elevator talk. Right, right, right. Yeah. So sun is um, a platform that focuses on the multi-dimensionality of black male identity mm -hmm. um, really honing in on our creative excellence and our activism but deconditioning how we view ourselves how we view women and the systems that operate around us through mm -hmm. new forms of media and narratives um, some began for me because I feel like well for one when it comes to to like black platforms I feel like nothing was really sort of like Peaking my interest and keeping it or nothing was doing the service that I felt like it needed to do mm. um, I felt like a lot of stuff was Doing it at a point and then would like fall off or would completely disappear. Yeah, yeah. you know um, and They weren't having the conversations. I felt like needed to to uh, be had yeah, like yeah. there was um I don't really want to put them out there like that but there was oh, these <laughs> these <laughs> two guys who like had a really dope um platform lots of followers but then i felt like um 
their brand and their voice kind of only stayed around like fashion mm -hmm. and i feel like they had the following and the reach to kind of like to really go change, beyond change, change, and, change. And, and and do like health shit or do yeah. like you know just yeah. like really sort of um benefit a community too yeah. like just grow it outside of like themselves and make it an ongoing helpful beneficial thing yeah, to yeah, everybody yeah. you know um so, so, but it never went there so i felt like yo like there should be this like like something like that out there and then i thought maybe yo let me sort of just yeah, begin yeah. that it was like an unmet need you felt like yeah it was in the community yeah like a gap yeah um but then i was very focused on myself as a black male identifying body mm -hmm. um and what that meant and all of its layers and kind of like huh. feeling like i was seeing a lot of black women and women of color coming together to create incredible walls of community yeah. um and support systems even to benefit black men like black lives yeah. matter is, yeah. is kind of like it, yeah no like it's all women yeah you feel me yeah in support of predominantly black male lives yeah you feel me but yeah. i was just kind of like wh where are we in that yeah how come i can't look at anybody that i identify with on a um gender you know yeah, um yeah. level and 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 be like damn like y'all are doing the thing because it's not happening you know yeah. or it's happening but it's not as it's not, it's not bringing brought to the forefront yeah you or feel me not, being like pushed the right way it's know? not being pushed and yeah. i feel like again there are conversations that are had that I feel like okay he gets it he over here gets it too but it's just not enough yeah you feel me yeah. and um i feel like i had a responsibility yeah as some some somebody who who knows that there's a gap there um and somebody who's doing the research and somebody with resources you feel yeah, me yeah. i feel like i knew too many black men who were doing incredible things yeah. um but there was no way to tie it all together and black men who were doing dope things who didn't even know each other yeah so i feel like yo like let me kind of create this bridge it's, where it's a network yeah. yeah this like network where i'm teaching people about the phenomenal work that people are doing but also we're all growing together learning about each other and in return we're advocating for for women's rights for yeah. um for like gay rights, for trans yeah. rights, because yeah, yeah. black people are trans too. Right. Black people yeah. are gay, yeah. like, and and I feel like when when um it would be a like a woman's life, mm -hmm. um a gay person's life or a trans person's life, people weren't going out marching in the hundreds of thousands like they were for our lives. Uh, you feel me? And yeah. I recognize a a level of like patriarchy in that as well yeah we have a lot of privilege and a lot of power right. as still oppressed bodies yeah. as like an endangered species yeah. we still have a lot of power yeah, yeah. you feel me so i feel like we needed to utilize that to be there for everybody right you know and sun is very young um and i haven't even begun to like to really do all the work i, I need to do in that way right. um but i feel like you know, like when it comes to the work that women have done, um, like we've definitely begun those conversations as well. Um, but it's a conversation. Well, the the conversation that Sun is having is accessible to everybody. I feel like yes. everybody can learn yeah. to it. And I think that's that's the greatest thing about it. Yeah, like yeah. Everybody has access to this. Now. Everybody has access to it. But I'm talking to us yeah <laughs> you feel yeah, me like exactly. it's some shit that we need to learn and everybody can like join us and right it's like all everybody, this too. everybody into yeah. the conversation that we're having here right yeah. right exactly because i feel like everything is intersected as right, well right. if 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 women don't get the traumas that we have and we don't get them then how do we ever right. come together yeah if we as like cis identifying um black men who are comfortable in our you know bodies as men aren't understanding the people who are it then then how do we how does all of this shit work better yeah, you feel yeah. me i'm i'm really interested in making this shit really work yeah and like 
now making everything so damn exclusive. I feel like people think why do you exclusive. think it's like that? Why? why because do you think it's, it's cool. Like, yeah, people like the idea of being unattainable mm. and um, exclusive. And honestly, it works. You feel yeah. me? Because it it keeps people interested in a brand and yeah. shit like that. But I mean, I feel like this is such a needed conversation. In addition to the visual aspects, in addition to the um, content, right. you feel me? Like, because like at the end of the day, like it, it, it only helps our community. Say like going back to your Irvine times. Yeah, yeah. Now because what the media pushes is like this, this, this super stereotypical uh, version of us, mm-hmm. right? And so like. Say the person that's not in a black community mm-hmm. um, is is trying, maybe even unbe- unbeknownst to them, but but they're trying to make an attempt to to connect with us. All right. they have is this this image that the media portrays, exactly. and so like, exactly. they're not showing these other sides. This this uh, this, this trans, you know, right, the, the, right, the right. gay side, the uh, just the male side. I mean, yeah, you know, and so like. Um, this is you like literally doing the Lord's work, right? Man, now, I'm <laughs> I'm trying, man. You're but pushing the gospel, like, man. We're also into like so so many different things. Like black men love jazz, black men That's love hip hop, black yeah. men love metal, black men love. Like, yeah, you feel me? Like there's we love so many sides. There's we're, so we're human many sides to us, but you know, like like there's such a fight against that. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally a war on that. You have to be this way. And yeah. You have to see you this way. And I'm interested in debunking the performance altogether. Yeah. Be who the fuck you, not yeah. just who you want to be, but who you are. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. And there is a place for that, and there is representation for that. Yeah. Um, and I feel like yeah, like for me, Sun was all about that one black kid in, like. Nebraska, <laughs> you feel me? Like, how do I reach that dude? Because I also yeah. feel like there's this crazy um, lack of communication. Right. Like, and there shouldn't be. We have, yeah. we have way too much technology. Too yeah. much, but I feel like messages kind of yeah. miss the middle of the like country. Yeah, it's from like L.A. to New wow. York. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. You feel me? And on the on these like coasts. We're having these conversations, but the middle of the country is missing it completely. There's a hole right there. Like the Right, thing. so that's why there are things like the barbershop series I feel like are very important mm-hmm. where I can I can enlist the ambassador in, in any state and they I can send mm-hmm. them the the uh, the um the improper materials yeah. you know to like set up shop and shit yeah. and they can have the conversations there wherever they are. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like to me, I'm thinking, how do I reach people from all kinds of um, entry points? Like, I feel like, you know, like me existing in this world also of people that want to have this conversation or know that it's even out there, that exists within a vacuum. Yeah. Not everybody knows that, like, this is even an issue for them. Not even, like, mm. like I feel like black men don't even know that, like, hyper-masculine performance is an issue. Yeah. You feel yeah, me? Like, I totally get you, bro. like, like people are 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 missing out on the um the conversations that need to be had all together. Yeah, and, like, it's and almost like they're. I feel like, you know, black men especially, we're we're just so callous to everything around yeah. us, and we're missing out like on the vital parts of life. Absolutely, it, absolutely. You know? But for me, I feel like it's also about digging into why do we feel that mm-hmm. way. Yeah. You know, I think it's important for like mothers to yeah. to 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 really make sure that they are contributing to fathers to make sure. You know, like like we also have a family series that's coming up too, to where it's like where we can really just discuss shit from the root. Yeah, you feel me? Like from the, the day you are born, yeah. man, yeah. that shit begins. Yeah generational traumas and, yeah. and 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 seeing all of all of this performance around you yeah. it's like how do you even know yeah. you know and um it's just really important to to really just get shit at the root make sure people are you know like digging at their roots yeah. to to see what the actual issue is yeah yeah um just so that this doesn't continue yeah how would yeah. you how would you define um, how would you define masculinity? Hmm. 
as a performance. As a, you feel me? Like, like yeah, for I me, totally. And I, yeah, go for it. Like, yeah, I'll like, meet you there. Yeah, go. I for feel it. like nobody is that visual, right? You feel me? As buff yeah. as you want to be, yeah. as tall as you are, yeah. um, as deep as your voice is, as many sports as you play, yeah. you're like you like like you still got a heart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's you feel me? You're not you're not removed from your humanity because of these you things have, that doesn't you have make some you some swing between your legs. Like right, yo, it. exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, like, and you shouldn't think that for a minute. Yeah. Think think as your part as like. Think of you as part of the existence of this all, not something yeah. that that reigns above it. Right, right. You feel me? Because yeah. because you thinking that damages something else. Yeah. You feel me? You're 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 hurting a woman that way. You're mm. you're you're negatively influencing children yeah. that way, and then they grow up and it's the same thing, and it's the same thing. It's now, it like, and yeah, and exactly. now, like, I feel like the questions we should be asking is like what is like what is my personhood and what does that mean in relation to my maleness mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. my masculinity mm -hmm. you feel me like like who am I and what kind of like in my male body who do I want to be yeah you I feel me you, like I like versus you. versus okay well this is the this box is that I is. need to feel yeah, yeah, yeah. and no 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 like yeah, like yeah, think yeah. about the privilege you have as this person in relation to how the world right. is operating right. and how you can, you know, work against that shit. Yeah, I, like yeah. like I was saying, like, I feel like, that's what I kind of alluded to, like, the mask earlier. Just, yeah, like, yeah, I just yeah, feel yeah. like that's what a masculinity kind of came to be because, yeah. cause you, like, I'm, like, into, like, just, like, kind of, like, biology and the science of things. Right, 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 right. So, like, you know, when we're, you know, when we're, in our mother's wombs and stuff you're all one kind of gender you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah exactly we, we all start off as a woman exactly <laughs> and then we kind of over you know develop in some areas and be, right. we, we become a man and stuff. right and so like but at the same at the end of the day we're all we're all just a human being and exactly. then like you get into this you 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 um you get into this world and you, you're becoming a human being and like i said you know we have this need to for community right and so like our community at this point the overarching community is the society and then the society is telling you to be like this as a man like the, the man is the man has to you know do all these things yeah and then like you start developing this mask called you know masculinity and yeah. it's like it's this persona yeah that's um that's taught to you right when it's right. not in, in some cases it's probably not even you like um, how do you think the how do you think it differs in the black community? Because I think um, masculinity is can be seen across the board for all men. Oh, know? absolutely, yeah. But it, it definitely like manifests differently in mm. each culture. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, I feel like for us, it's um, it's all about the violence that we inflict. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like it's about it's I feel like it's definitely it's still about respect in every culture but it's a different type of respect for us mm -hmm. it's like um, it's like I won't respect just because of you know just like the stupid shit like I yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I don't know well that's probably not I don't know man it's weird like the way that we value respect is just definitely different. different. I feel like in the home it could be a lot of the same yeah. in each culture, but in space I feel like it's um it's like almost looking for a an issue. Yeah. Like you know? all the time. All, all the time. time. Like there's never no off days where you can't just like yeah. sit and chill. Like you're yeah, always you're always you always gotta maintain this like right. hard body. You exactly. Know I mean? like, exactly. But I feel like for us it's also the idea of like the world is legit against us mm -hmm. in that way too. So because yeah. so, nobody wants to be around. They want to terminate anything that, you know that that causes some kind of fear or something. Exactly. Kind of like, Exactly. Uneasiness to, towards them. So you know, when you perpetuate that kind of you know psychology, yeah, yeah, 
I mean, it, it's a bad look for us. At right. The end of the day, you know? Right. And it's just sort of like just being demonized for everything. I feel like just makes us even harder. Yeah. Um, and it makes us feel like we need to um, just be ready to to just fight all the time. Yeah. You know. And um, yeah, man. And even when it comes to uh, to um, us as kids, mm -hmm. the way I feel like people are shaped as kids, as young black men, mm -hmm. I've, I've I've never seen anything like it. It's it's so harsh. Yeah, you yeah. know, like there's no room for any kind of, you know, just like being a sweet little guy. Yeah, man. like yeah, man. that like, shit is wiped away. Yeah, you yeah. know, and I feel like other people can grow up and be, you know, nice, <laughs> yeah. nice nice young men but for us that's not value yeah yeah you know that's a sign of weakness yeah yeah like you get you're gonna yeah. take be taken advantage of being taken advantage of and it's kind of like but 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 that's only imagined in the black world because when you step outside of that being nice is definitely a great thing yeah. <laughs> you feel me Everyone although nice, although right? I feel like there are levels of niceness that do allow you to be taken advantage of. I think just yeah. like being a good person with a good heart is definitely looked down yeah. upon um, when it comes to us. And, um, you know, it's just, it's it's such a unique conversation being like black and male versus everything else. Yeah. And, you know, like I think... I only see it on the surface because I haven't really lived those other experiences. Maybe, maybe there are you know, mm -hmm. um, they they do have those same um, uh, complications yeah. or complexities. But yeah. I just sort of know it from from, from my perspective. From your perspective, yeah. But I mean, even just like having little glimpses yeah. of the of the like different worlds that people yeah. live in. I definitely can say that that we are performing more than everybody else and there is a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I it, it's you know what's so interesting is that like um I definitely I can I can um identify with those those issues and yeah, those yeah. struggles. And yeah. I'm I'm 100% sure we had different uh upbringings. Mm -hmm. different, we came up in different environments mm -hmm. and stuff. You know, um so I'm like interested, like what, what was your, what was your upbringing like? Like what, how, yeah. like, how'd you get introduced to your, your, your maleness or your masculinity or yeah. how do you want to identify it with? Yeah. Um, for me, man, I grew up with a single mom. Mm -hmm. Um, we had a really tough time. She and I were actually talking about it today for the actual first time. You really? Know? Uh, yeah, wow, that's like, monumental. Man. Yeah, because... That's, that's very... Yeah, like, I feel like I had come to terms with a lot of, like, things in, in my life, but I also kind of felt like I needed her to come to terms with it with me, Yeah. just so that our relationship could be better, and yeah. I don't think she could until today. You know, like, wow. there's been a few breakthroughs that that she's had to where I feel like we can finally be on the same page when yeah. it comes to to all of that. But yeah, man, just like me and her really, man, thugging it out. Um, yeah. Stability was definitely a very hard thing. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the time we were definitely homeless. Um, wow. On, um, you know, just like really um, needing the assistance of like family members and when that sort of wasn't there, we would mm -hmm. sort of just probably be in the car. Um, wow. Or just, um, you know, like, motels and and, and really trying to piece it together move. always on the move always man so the so things were never really the same ever yeah. um which is why like now stability freaks me the yeah. fuck out you feel me yeah you like my anxiety intense. hits because yeah. i'm like yo something that's has to go wrong yeah, now you yeah, know yeah um, that's crazy that's which crazy. is a part of that wall now because I'm like yo, like like something ain't right. Like yeah. I got my own place and I can eat. Like I gotta yeah. die. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Like I'm way too comfortable. I'm right way too comfortable. Next. Something is wrong. Man. Um, but yeah, man, my upbringing was very um, was very weird, man. And younger, I was definitely more feminine as a child. Like I, mm. I played with like 
both sides. Yeah. I would wrestle with my cousins, but then I would probably have like some little pop CD yeah, or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. Just from like watching Disney Channel yeah, and you know, yeah. like just being into everything. Yeah, but yeah. but um, Did you trying to hide that stuff or were you oh, like, really open? Man. I was super open about it until people made me feel bad, like like really bad about it. Yeah, you know, yeah, and um, you know, like I I couldn't listen to my NSYNC no more, but it was cool, <laughs> man. I was. Yeah. Um, I think every, every dude was into it. Like you're lying if you you weren't into it. Right, exactly. Because music, music did something to you, so it was like yeah. And that was the biggest shit. Like for yeah. me, when NSYNC was big, I mean, I was at that age music. where I was watching Disney Yo, Channel. Yeah, that's I what I'm saying. Five, you like, on top of the band singing along. Yeah, like, man. And then, and like like anything on yeah. Disney Channel, I went along yeah. with it. If Britney Spears was on Disney Channel, Listen, I was bro. buying a Britney Listen, Spears bro. album, bro. <laughs> That shit yeah. really worked. Like, yeah. like, like they got some amazing marketing. Yeah, yeah back exactly. Then, you feel me? It's something in that frequency that it yeah. hit. Yeah, that like, shit yeah, really hit me, man. Wanna sing. Yeah, it feel good. And it made me yeah. really want to like commit to it and learn all the dance moves yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. And it really, um, it really, you know, like at times it it was encouraged to just be like, yo, like, like Justin, like dance. And then other times where you know I had cousins who were definitely like using like faggot um <laughs> or just like like really um you know like like me at like like six seven really yeah. tearing me down man yeah. and um so it was just a struggle just being you at a struggle. just being alive yeah, yeah man and then i mean um yeah like like really going through a lot in terms of like a custody battle too like mm. Like my dad was going, he he married someone, and um, there was like a big like custody thing. So just sort of going through like everything, yeah. like like you you could possibly yeah, think okay. of, and, I, and um, see that's and you got like dope two other in my eyes. Like I yeah. feel like like say separated parents or divorce really yeah, yeah, yeah. pays the biggest pays the biggest toll on the child the child oh, the yeah. children you know what i'm saying yeah. so it's just like you you learn a lot about life at a very young age yeah. you know what i'm saying like it was handed to you yeah. too soon too you know? soon man yeah. but man thankfully cuz yeah. it's it's kind of like i mean like for me uh, my parents were never actually together so gotcha. yeah. I never really had that like disconnect of like yeah. oh like like being torn in between the two that was really all I knew yeah. but it was still a lot yeah. you know like going back and forth then like I'm living here like nothing was ever the same yeah. you know um, it's just always a different situation always a like, different always situation shame. man um, and when it came to I don't think I was really assessing my maleness um as a kid, um, when did I really become in contact with just like how? Well, this is what men do, you know. Yeah, like like, like yeah. when did I really like feel like that was an issue? You know? Like I'm I'm really trying to think of when, oh, like man, like it. what Plucky. moved me. Um, I'm thinking, ah, when did I'm I'm thinking, man. Like I learned a lot on Tumblr, dude. Really, dude. Tumblr taught me everything. <laughs> it continues to teach. Really. Man, like Tumblr, legit for me. I created it as a space to really just be like yourself. Black, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, because when I went to Irvine, I, I really felt like I couldn't really like invest yeah. in that. So I had this space where I was connected with people beyond geography, yeah. and we all sort of cared about the same things, yeah. and I just learned so yeah. much, man. Like, like people would literally upload documents and like PDFs and shit yeah. where I was just downloading them and learning all about um, blackness, yeah. um, black feminism, yeah. black maleness, black, like everything. Was, was there a sense that you already knew it? You already knew that stuff? Or was that like all... It, fresh stuff too. it felt like I knew it but I was learning the language around it. yeah like you, yeah. you were able to pinpoint oh that's like, what that's that what that is yeah, yeah, yeah exactly that feeling yeah like I felt like I was definitely in touch and in tune with a lot but I didn't have the proper language and yeah. I feel like you didn't Tumblr, know how to speak it 
you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it was just like, you, you had this feeling, but yeah. then like, someone articulated it in yeah. a way that you were able to understand the Right, exactly. And a way that I was able to communicate it, too. Yeah. Because yeah. as soon as I learned something, man, you better believe I was relaying it to everybody, <laughs> you know? Like, like, like I was talking my mouth. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think I've always had a need to, like, relay information. Yeah. Um, mm. Every song yeah. I found, I would be sending it to like my yeah, best friend. Yeah, you were one of those. You were like, Yo, yeah, you need to check this out. And everything, you know, like yeah. I would be sending emails, even though I got their number, like yeah. emailing them, texting. Them, like I was just always That's sending right. things. You feel me? You're and the informer. You're the me- you're the uh, you're the messenger. Yeah. Or I mean, even like back before that, man, I used to want to build like websites when I was like 10 man and I was like building like little fan sites on my favorite rappers man, and singers see, and like, like TV shows is, and shit this is the inception of summer right <laughs> it really like, is, is this man is, this is you like it's really me yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's that, wow. really me yeah. Um, yeah I used to just build sites and I would like talk about the like latest updates and like <laughs> production of a TV show yeah. or like an album or something like that like I was always I always cared about the like liner notes and yeah. CDs too. Oh, I, you were reading the pamphlets, you man. Reading, you like, that's oh, why. This, this that's why I bought it. CDs. Yeah. I wanted to know where it was recorded, yeah. who the engineer was, who yeah. the writers, and like I always cared about that shit. Yeah. About just like information yeah. and like relaying it and receiving it. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, like I, I feel like that's definitely graduated to what it is now. Yeah. Um, that, and did you? So you always kind of like put in like a like a special place, and then and then you always like shared it with other people. Was it always met with um, like, oh, thank you for this? Or there's some people where you just like you sent them like a whole album that you really felt at them as a person would like, but they were just like, I, I, yeah. I just I don't. I mean, it would definitely always be mixed, man. Like. You know, like, I feel like there would be songs where I feel like, yo, like, um, you, like, like this shit was basically written for you. Yeah. You feel me? And yeah. I would send that to people, and they would rock with it. Yeah. Um, but then I would get overboard and send, like... <laughs> you like, oh, you like this? Yeah, you right, this, exactly. This, 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 and send, yeah. like, entire albums when I knew ain't nobody had no damn patience <laughs> to listen to, to a whole, whole album. Whole yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I feel like I, I really have messages that I really wanted people yeah, to... to to get you know connecting bro. yeah man and i feel like um but then i feel like through tumblr i had found out about all these other people doing amazing ass things yeah. where they were relaying yeah. information and creating platforms and i was just feeling like yo like like there's a like yeah there's shit to do with this yeah there's, you, you know the greatest thing about tumblr is like you it's like it like leveled up from like the sims so right, like you created right, your right. own world of your own interests and uh in with other real people it, you know, most of the time i mean some people you get some robots or you know some some crazy figure right but like for the most part you're you're building who you want to follow who you want to unfollow yeah you know the people that are following you, and you're only following what you're interested in. Right. And, you're, and also, you can you kind of connecting with them too. And so, like, yeah. after a while, you you start building your own community. And exactly. Like you get to you know filter out and tailor out like the things that you're interested in. Exactly. Like if someone posts something crazy, you're just like, oh, I don't know if I want to. If I want to follow you. Yeah. No I mean, yeah. I mean, but it's really the like genesis of like curatorial work exactly and i feel like exactly. that's what i really want a lot yeah. of people to see too yeah. and i don't think that really like fell into place for me until i i came in contact with um arthur jaffa's work um mm-hmm. at the yeah, um, yeah. at the hammer he had notebooks yeah. of um basically like aborted or like failed ideas wow. um for like visuals that he was working on or like yeah. plan to like work on but like the projects would like fall apart but yeah. then i realized yo like this shit looks a lot like my tumblr yo like, yeah so yeah. i had been putting things yeah into place for They're so all long ideas, man. Yeah. yeah and but but i didn't realize the actual conversations yeah. that could be crafted from that yeah. or the ones that i was already making and didn't even realize yeah it's like yeah. It, it's like the ideas you just haven't found a home yet you exactly know what I'm saying? like exactly you have all these yeah. ideas right and like 
I see Tumblr as like this huge like everybody had like the junk junk drawer, right? Right. <laughs> right. Up, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Like, and you had it for you know some later time or like, and I feel like that's what Tumblr it just compiles all that stuff and then right. like, and that's what I do a lot of you know where I get a lot of my inspiration from. Yeah. Just like, okay, wow, this this you know. This affected me this way. Yeah, I'm gonna say that for later or something. Or even, even, or if I want to, you know, be altruist, altruistic about it. Yeah. it's like I'm gonna repost this so like everybody else can see something. You know, right, right. And you know, you're just getting what you think is great out. You know what I'm saying? Right. So and I go for it. Yeah. Think I really want people to realize, yo, like those ideas like really matter. Yeah. The things that you're interested in can can be matured into something bigger you know like yeah. i just really want people especially with sun i feel like that's such a huge part of it it's yeah. like seeing yo like this is possible you can make this happen too yeah you yeah. know yeah yeah i think the greatest and even so like say you have a great idea right uh-huh maybe that idea is strictly to inspire yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. you have say you have one idea, you and it and it stops with you. Yeah. What if for someone else that's like the that's like the missing puzzle? Right. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. I was uh, watching. I'm like really into French film right now. Uh huh. Uh-huh. One of my favorite directors or um, filmmakers there is Eric Romare, and I was uh-huh. watching this um this interview with him one of like his only interviews where it was like subtitled into English because he's yeah. French and um, he was talking about like uh, <clears throat> um, being compared trying to compare himself to uh, Matisse the, the painter right and so like he's a filmmaker I was like how do you make that connection but he was like he was talking about a scene that he put together mm-hmm. in one of his films and like how he he made it so it kind of resembled a Maltese painting. And I was like, that's just like a, a whole yeah. different way of tapping into to inspiration yeah, and man. ideas. It's just yeah. like, you can find inspiration anywhere. And yeah. like, just because like, say, you know, he's a filmmaker, Maltese is a painter, doesn't mean Maltese's painting ideas stop right. at just the art. You know, exactly. it can transcend into film. Exactly. And so I think, uh that that's uh it, it sounds like that's what you want to happen for for son too you know? yeah man it's like you don't want those ideas to just to die with the person you know what i'm saying it's like yeah, not it at goes, all it goes in other places it goes beyond yeah you know and and thinking thinking about how you can take what you do beyond but like not just in a way where it just feeds you but like also let's bring it back to like where we come from yeah, how can we benefit yeah. the next person yeah. who doesn't have access with all of the realizations and um, all of the practice that we've done yeah you know yeah i, I went to the, your talk your last talk mm-hmm. right and it really felt like uh like something you see on tv right or yeah. like you just you watch you know, back in, when it was like a sit down with the artist and stuff. Right, right. right. But then, like in, in those situations, you get so much in depth um, perspective on that. Per- I, I'm, I'm sorry, the the artist, the photographer's name is like escaping me right now. Uh, John Edmonds. Yeah. yeah so he yeah. was talking about his work with the do rag. Uh huh. <laughs> it was just it was so it was just so profound on the way he was able to, you know express that yeah and still keep it it's specifically for him right right you know what i'm saying like exactly. it's, it's, it's still his experience but we're all you're kind of like getting the peek behind the veil yeah you know what I'm man. yeah and that's why i appreciate this network so much because yeah. just from what i've um what i've experienced because i you know i went to the the the, the, the lunch oh right 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 yeah and uh um, which i appreciate that video, man. Oh, you yeah. Put, that yeah. shit is beautiful, dude. Yo, yo, yeah. That man. was just, you know, just, just messing around. I love that, yeah. But it was, yeah, I mean, I would, 
there was so much inspiration in it. It's like how can I not? Right. You know, it's like I, like I you said, it's like an obligation. It's like an obligation for me too. Right, it's right. like how do you not capture this? Yeah, man. And it's 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 uh, um, it means a lot to me that it's on film because you know something about film makes it feel like for me it's like forever solid. Yeah, yeah. official. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So what's your what's your relationship with music, man? Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> um, I've been singing forever, man. I um, I began probably around like five, just really singing around the house and shit. What, um, what was the first thing you? Did you ever perform or anything? Yeah, or, I did. I think outside I outside the shower. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> In kindergarten, I like choreographed the whole like Jackson Five little like performance thing yeah. for for the school. Um, and yeah, man, I was always singing uh, like what my teachers would tell me to sing back then. I was just uh, saying to my partner today that. Um, that they have me singing Joe, I want to know. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> I want to know so I can turn you on and shit. Like, okay, yeah. bro. Um, but <laughs> but it's been a, like something that um, what, what, I've been doing. What age was that? I was five, yeah. Damn. Five. That was when it was high, you know, too. Yeah. yeah. You know what you were singing? Yeah, man. You Joe, know? I want to know. And like, bills, bills, bills. That's some child shit. Like, <laughs> it was <Yeah>. like <laughs> they would have me sing whatever um, yeah. was hot, but I um yeah. I don't think I took it seriously yeah, until huh yeah that's what I was about to ask oh like, yeah when yeah you, when you um, I don't think it? I decided on taking it seriously until maybe I was like fifteen wow. um, I my best friend Alexandria was working at the uh, Boys and Girls Club over in Venice. And they had a like elaborate studio set up, and at that point, I think I was just like, she, she had a friend who was doing songs there. And I was like, yeah, like I could write her a song. Yeah. So I wrote her this little whack ass little song for her <laughs> to record, and then I was like, yo, like I could record some shit too. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I so felt you like, write too then. Oh yeah, I feel like I have to. Yeah, <laughs> because no one was going to write for me, yeah, so yeah. I um I didn't really have a voice then in terms of like writing. I was right. just kind of I knew what I liked and I knew what I thought was interesting at the time, which really wasn't like much of nothing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I um yeah, and then I think I from there I developed like okay, this is sort of what I want my writing style to be yeah, and. Yeah. Um, the the type of texture I want in my voice and yeah, yeah, yeah. the uh, type of energy that I want to give. Um, how do you get on? How you stumble upon that? Were you influenced by anybody? Oh or? yeah, by a lot of things. Yeah. I think my entire thing for me was I wanted to mix like the <laughs> I wanted to have. Oh man. I wanted it to be very like experimental, mm-hmm. but like I was inspired by like bands like New Birth um, okay. from the like seventies and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. Um, but I was also really into like Bjork type shit. But I was also really, really into like Babyface melodies <laughs> and shit. So, so you just I was all across. I was all over the place, yeah, yeah, and the um, it would really kill me because yeah. I was like, I love all these things. How do I? Put them all in conversation together to yeah, create an emotion yeah, to yeah, yeah. to to create something and yeah. um, and I think as of recently I've been able to <laughs> to sort yeah. of jail of that somehow. Yeah. Don't ask. I guess you'll hear it in due time. But yeah. it's um yeah, like me and music, we've we've like that's always been my first love yeah. and. You know, um, it's it's something I do see myself factoring back into what like all of my practices are now, and um, like creating exhibitions around mm-hmm. the music I create, yeah. um, or um, you know, like performances and like 
all that, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to do all this shit like full throttle. Yeah, definitely, definitely. as you should, man. Yeah. Like my whole motto is like do everything and die. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. Uh, who uh, who who are you feeling right now? Like uh, oh, right now. Um, yeah. What what what's the last album you listened to today? Are we have you listened to music today? Yeah, I did. Uh, what's the best song you heard today? Man, are you familiar with Jessie Ware? It sounds very familiar. She's from the UK, and her sound has always been like that, really like sophisticated. Uh huh diva shit yeah, yeah. Um, like smooth 90 shit um, oh she has a new track out from 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 her upcoming album called Midnight and man that shit is wild like yeah. it's such a fucking track man what, um, what do you what's the first thing you listen to in, in song or do you catch us uh, do, have you even noticed that you listen to a particular oh, yeah. thing I debunk everything about a song and um yeah. and like while listening to a song, I'll recreate it in my head. Like, yeah. you know, like, they should have. They should have. They, they should have did yeah. that. Yeah. They could have. Yeah. yeah. Um, the first thing I look for is melody. I really? think. Yeah. yeah. And that's how things begin with me too. Like I gotta yeah. begin off with a melody that I love. Yeah. Um, yeah. or it's not gonna work. Yeah. You know. Um, and I try to fuck with melodies and like not care about them and switch them up and try yeah. to like do all types of yeah. weird shit get loose with it yeah yeah but at the end of the day i like like i like baby face yeah. <laughs> and shit. like man why baby face baby though? face like, is my favorite writer man really? oh there, yeah he there's can write his ass there's man. nothing like that shit there's yeah. nothing like brandy sitting up in my room yeah, there ain't nothing exactly. like all that tony braxton boys to men shit yeah, yeah. there ain't nothing like that shit yeah. um and it's just like it's like cleansing oh, in a wow. way like like very interesting his to yeah like i mean to me i feel like a lot of sounds they're a smell mm -hmm. they're a texture they're wow, a yeah. you know like i'm 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 really listening for a texture yeah, yeah um like to me babyface is soothing in a way where It'll always make me feel like it's a Sunday and I just got yeah, out the shower yeah, yeah. and I'm just like cleaning up the house and like just that like clean feeling, yeah. you know. And I think that's what I seek most yeah. in life is to feel that way. So like baby face is yeah. easy, man. <laughs> that's me. it. Yeah. So you listen for the melodies. You listen for the melodies. And I mean production too, yeah. you know, like I feel like, I mean, a lot of people might kill me for this, but I feel like... Mm -hmm. Um, there was that FKA Twig joint that really introduced me to Arca. A few really, same years here. Back. Yeah, she introduced me to Arca too. Man, did you, you listen to like his Five N joint, like the the N? Yeah, yeah, man, like just classical, like experimental classical music yeah. and shit. Like, like bro was wild, man. Yeah, he's just definitely he's wild. insane. He still but, is, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like that track, Poppy Pacify, bro. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. that shit will make me want to cry. Yeah. Like I had, yeah. I'm, up until that point, I had heard nothing like that. Yeah. And it's I think, so different, and, and it just, it was so uh, polarizing yeah. at the time when it came out. Yeah. And then what put it over the edge was the visuals for it. Yeah. Like it was, it was on some next level. Stuff. Yeah. So she definitely created a new standard yes. of how to definitely yes. mix influences together yeah. um how to really play with sound and um i feel like that project definitely propelled yeah. a lot of thoughts and ideas within yeah, for my sure. own practices yeah, yeah i was listening uh i forget what track it was uh it's a water me where but one track of her, she was, she was talking about it. And she was, I guess she she does some stuff in the studio too. I don't know if she co-produces or anything. Mm -hmm. But she was like trying to tell a story of like how by oh. the end of the song it runs out of gas or something. Yeah, yeah. I think she was definitely talking about Waterman. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. I was, and I love that ability to story. T I like, I love yeah. storytelling. Yeah, music, yeah. And I love how things progress. How things introduce themselves and right. then you know have a climax and then they you know they kind of have a resolution right know? right yeah and what about for you um your relationship to, to music and to music it and, man yeah. um 
music has always been like this. I feel like music is has always been like my imaginary friend that I just uh-huh. never got. That never just died off. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like it's always been there. Um, so even when I couldn't, like my parents were real strict and they couldn't, I couldn't get like parental advisory right, CDs right. and stuff. Oh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but like I remember, like I, me begging my dad, like, all right, just give me, just let me have just any kind of CD and stuff, yeah. man. So I would just. I just cherish the fact that I can own like some kind of music at such a young age. Like it, it just was right. that important to me. Right, right. And so, like, um, and so, like, growing up, it, it, and you know, being in a strict household, it was like, it was never like kind of fostered, you know, mm-hmm. like that 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 interest in music. It was always mm-hmm. like you gotta, you gotta do some. A little bit more uh, tangible, like where right. it wasn't like something that's kind of uh, like a hope and a wish. You right. know? Even though I firmly believe that you can you can groom somebody to make it lucrative, right? You know? <clears throat> but it was it just never. I mean, it's just the way way my parents raised me. But then, mm-hmm. like in college, you know, I um, I decided I definitely wanted to do something in music, but I mm-hmm. but then I, at the same time I put it off. Uh, till after college, so yeah. I was like, "All right, you know, music is my thing, but I let me just finish this off first, and then you know, I'll get into it and yeah. stuff." So I, I didn't start making music till like till I graduated, and I just fell in love with it. Then I remember, like, when I was a kid, uh, I was in like this. <laughs> I was like third grade I was in like this music class where mm-hmm. I wanted to play the sax like they had like after school programs mm-hmm. and I wanted to learn how to play the sax so like I told my dad alright can you go to Sam Mash and rent me out this saxophone right. and this man came back with the flute <laughs> <laughs> play me man <laughs> he was what? like I don't know they didn't have any have any there? I'm oh like, damn, man. Man. Yeah. That's funny. Exactly. And it's funny because, like, that whole mask of masculinity was yeah. definitely playing a part. I was like, man, nobody played the like, flute. Yeah, <laughs> right. I got pierced my lips in a certain way just yeah. to hear the sound, you know? Yeah. And so, That's like, wild. yeah. So, um, and then, like, you know, I, I went to that class for like a couple weeks and then, mm-hmm. like, I don't know. I did something wrong or something. Like I just got like a note home or something. Yeah. And uh, my parents pulled me out of that whole class. So like, like I said, like it just wasn't fostered for me. Like right. the interest was always there. Like as a kid, like yeah. My mom tells the story all the time where, you know, the, they got me a drum set and the first thing I did was like kick my my foot in the, the kick drum. The oh, man, you look bad. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, but it's just like I've always had like this interest in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like, it's like now it's like finally manifested. It's just like, it's just in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, I didn't even really want to do it. Really? You feel me? Like I feel like singing and shit was like my my thing. Yeah. And then I don't know what what happened, but I mean, it's always been something that I always wanted to just like investigate. Yeah. In the same way as when I was like ten. Yeah. When I was like like building those like websites and shit. Yeah. I used to fuck around with chords on this yeah. little karaoke thing yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. um that um my mom got me and it had a CD um changer at the top and then yeah. it had two slots for cassettes. Yeah. And I I figured out a way to where I could put in two blank tapes. I don't know how the hell it is. Yeah. I'll put in two blank tapes and I would loop my voice on like wow, one tape and yes. then like record it and shit I'm like scientist stuff. Yeah. And then I don't know where all that like need to investigate went in me. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't have the patience <laughs> nah, for like nah, you can't taking even. shit now. Oh, but nah. like like I, I mean logic and shit I I, I lose my mind. Like yeah. I need someone else to like <laughs> so, help me out. But yeah, production definitely definitely man. like takes patience. I think Yeah. Like to me, I feel like most people can like can figure their way out. It's just like sticking with it is the hardest part because you take so much patience, you know. Right? Yeah. No. It's 
it's uh, something that I definitely don't have a passion <laughs> for <laughs> at all. Yeah. But um, it's something that I do understand as necessary. And, and as somebody who does like to be in charge of the entire process, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely, you know, watching when I am working with people so that yeah. I know what is what. Yeah, but, yeah. Man. So, so you were you were over here making your own loops of your voice yeah. off the karaoke machine. Off a little karaoke machine, yeah. man. <laughs> just like looping my shit. Just, just like crazy. running circles around myself. Yeah, it's just crazy how like like the mind know what, knows what it wants yeah. to do. Yeah. Like, and then you when, just find a way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like it just manifests itself later. Right, like, you right. can't shake it. It's, At all. It's not, yeah. Oh, um, man. Super dope. I guess, uh, man, we can talk like literally <laughs> forever, right? <laughs> forever, man. But yeah, um, dang, what do I want to ask you right now? There's so much there. to ask you. I'm um, I have actually, I have one question before yeah. I go into the like the final, the finale. Right, right. What's the what's the what's the uh, most recent thing you learned about yourself? Um, the most recent thing I learned about myself is that um, I think being in my current relationship has taught me a lot about myself in, yeah. in a way where it's kind of like um, because I've never actually been in a relationship actually yeah to where oh, man, it's you're been in, you're in for a treat oh right? yeah no, no, I'm I'm, <laughs> no. I'm embarrassing myself <laughs> um it's I'm learning a lot about um levels of trust mm. I'm learning a lot about what a partnership means yeah and I'm learning that I guess I do have a lot more that's unsolved and a lot more anger in me than I thought I did. Yeah, I did. yeah. yeah and I think it's crazy how it takes a relationship to find that out. Yeah, it, I think that's the case. It's for really wild. Wow. Yeah, was that your same yeah. experience? Yeah, yeah like uh, my lady now. Um, I I have a deep love for her because she's allow me to feel every emotion yeah inside of me you know yeah. that I didn't even know that that was there right. and it's not like she provoked them or or anything it's just that from the person that she is and how it it, uh, it matches up with my personality right I mean right. That, the most of me came out that I didn't right, even know right. was, was part of me right and that's like the very low things to the very high things and yeah, it's just yeah. like um yeah it, it, it's completely it completely like cracked my head open on who right. i was as, as a person you know? right and it, it it only happened from a relationship you know what i'm saying yeah. so so why yeah i feel like i could have gone through anything yeah and it wouldn't have <laughs> it yeah. wouldn't have done this yeah so um yeah i'm, I'm learning a lot about myself in that in that way and um i think you know like i learned a lot through work too man yeah, yeah. i learned a lot about about you know just like certain life lessons just pop up at work yeah. and it's shit that i trace back into just like the the way i do things at home yeah. or in other yeah. relationships too i'm learning a lot about my communication yeah with yeah. people and wow communication is so important yeah wow like like mm -hmm. like more than i ever needed it to be because up because it's always just been me yeah. but now there are networks that yeah. sort of like rely on me now yeah, and yeah. a partner that relies yeah. on me now and it's um it's just something that i'm learning to really put into action yeah um and by the way i mean from communicating you just you know getting you here yeah, it, you're doing phenomenal. <laughs> oh <okay. laughs> yeah, because like you know, really? you know how you know how it is putting something Man. together with yeah it has like very a, a lot of moving parts and stuff. Right, like, right. Your communication 
with me at least it's just always been like you know just real uh straightforward and, and yeah to the point you know it's just like it just makes my life a whole lot easier yeah you know what i'm saying well don't say that man because it is some people <laughs> you, you still got some unreplied jealous. yeah right exactly <laughs> don't say that no, uh, no, because man. we'll edit it out <laughs> <laughs> nah don't man. But, but um yeah i definitely do have a lot of work to do when it comes to that and like um just being a bit more attentive yeah to things mm, i think um my attention to detail yeah. um, has grown a lot, but it but it always needs work. Yeah. And um, I think I learned that really through work because I never really needed to pay attention to something yeah. as much as I do now yeah, at like yeah. work. And now that I have my own platform and shit, it's um, super important. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and all of my relationships as well. It's, yeah. it's just important to just make sure you cover all ground, uh, take a step back, and just like really reassess constantly. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a, it's a it's a it's a learning process. Everything, Absolutely. Everything is yeah. up for up for up for change. Definitely. And I think for me, it's like all right. Like there's goals by like 25. I want to have this like yeah. You know, like set like I want to be really good. Yeah. And like <laughs> milestones. Yeah, because it's like by 30, I, that won't be acceptable. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I have definitely like you know um, things that I do want to have figured out by you know certain points in my life. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Nah, that's, that's dope. Man. What about you? What's the last thing you like about yourself? The, la- the latest thing. Actually, I was just talking to my lady about it today, man. Mm-hmm. I was I was just like kind of. Uh, thinking back on my growth with um, patience and yeah I was just telling my lady today she's she's a very uh, uh, binary person I'd say uh-huh. where it's it's a lot or it's a little you know everything Yo, is that's so me <laughs> it either is yeah. or it ain't yeah it's super black and white yeah, yeah it's, right. she's either having the best day ever or the worst day right. ever, you know what i'm saying yeah. and like i'm so not like that i'm very right. i'm me and my lady were very much opposites right. you know but there's something about it that it still uh resonates with me where it, like i told her today like she's like my lessons on futility and she's like my lessons on um just patience because it's like yesterday uh well her mom's birthday is today um and so yesterday yeah yeah um and uh so yesterday we you know we had like a dinner for her or brunch for her and i got her this plant Mm -hmm. and um for me being a, a, a dummy, I let it was like eighty plus degrees yesterday. Yeah. And I left left the plant in the uh, in the car. So like yeah. by the time I got back to the car, I was like really oh, dehydrated. Man. It was looking Soggy, terrible. Like no, yeah, man. like I was just and I was frustrated because I love plants and I'm like uh-huh. I just let this thing. How could I? Right. Yeah, like yeah. it's like leaving an infant in the car or something. Right. And so like. Um, I'm pulling up trying to about to show her the plan and I'm like kind of like flustered and stuff I'm like telling her oh it's it's really is about to die I'm sorry like yeah. you know like I'm just trying to make tell her what's happening and first thing Peach says is like oh it's not about to die it's fine I'm like Pete like yeah. do, you, do you not <laughs> do you not see what's going on yeah but like um I guess like Say like five years ago, I would have been like, "No, you were you're nuts right now." Like, what are you? Right, what are you talking? Because right, I'm already right. flustered and stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. But at the time, I was just like, uh, "No, if he just like it's the, the heat, like is is really getting to yeah. it. Like, it's not supposed to look like this." And I would, and I just took like a, a very poised response to it. Right, right. And like right. I thought about it today, I was like, "Hey, that we thought about it together." And I was like, "Oh, this That's is growth. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a lot of yeah, growth." Right. And I was like, "Man." You kind of look back on it's like uh, when you measure yourself to like the doorpost, <laughs> right. you know, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I did grow for that part. Yeah, I think I need to pay attention to that. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, like I think I led, or I've been letting, especially in my relationship, to um, 
to not let um, myself get to the extreme immediately. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, yeah. which I'm good at some days. Yeah. <laughs> and then there are like, other days where I'm like, yo, like, what? Yeah. You, I mean, it's just the evolution of a person. Man. Yeah. You know? But I need to be more active yeah. towards working through it and make sure in every situation that. I'm taking that step back. Yeah, you know, kind of and observe, be the observer, yeah, not, and not the Justin, but just the right, observer exactly, of Justin. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, but I think it's great to hear you talk about just having patience with yeah. yourself. Um, yeah, like we could all learn from that. Yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah, man. Uh, all right. Final question. Yeah. Hate to say goodbye. Oh man. Uh, but um, what's some I mean, you might already answer this question, but what's mm-hmm. something the world doesn't know about you but should? Um, what does the world not know about me but they should know? Um, and I told y'all the baby face shit. Right? <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. What does the world? You were just talking about. Uh, does anybody else know about your that you're ticklish in your mouth? Right? Yo, <laughs> <laughs> yo. So I found a nerve in my mouth. Oh no, I got a lot of shit. Okay, okay. so so I found a nerve in my mouth when I was brushing my teeth because I like to brush the the uh, roof of my mouth too. Yeah, which 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 is probably weird to some people. But, um, <laughs> is that like some kind of you, you know something we don't know, bro? Like I feel like I mean. Like, your tongue carries bacteria oh, and it's yeah, touching yeah. the roof of your mouth so that is you should probably brush it right point. I don't know right <laughs> but while doing that I definitely hit a nerve and it makes me laugh yeah. um but damn that made me think about when I lost my teeth in second grade and didn't get them back until fifth grade what <laughs> yeah man yo lost man. that shit for you three two years, years. Yeah. I had no but what happened was my um my teeth came down, but so did the gums. Oh wow! It looked so say, fucking nasty. You like look, you look, you. I look crazy. Yeah. Wow. Like fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Like so. Yeah. So the gums were in the shape of like teeth. What? Basically. You got pictures? I do somewhere, <laughs> man. I do. So how they fix it? You had to do. Like, they just kind of went back. By themselves. By themselves. Yeah. yeah that's nice. Um, just in time for middle school, man. Because oh, I was like. <laughs> That would have been oh, terrible. Yeah, would have been bad. And I was in speech therapy from uh, from third grade until ninth grade. Wow, you do you have like a stutter or something or list? Man, I I still stutter a lot. Really? Um, yeah. I feel like I stutter a lot too, but yeah. yours is just like super like. Mine was bad. It was like imposing on like no way yeah, thinking. like I couldn't pick up the phone. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> how, yeah. How did they, how did they I've always wondered like how yeah. they they they're able to like break that. Man, you just sort of grow out of it. Really? You know, and you develop techniques. Like you may hear me drag the first sound of a word out. Gotcha. And and that's to prevent me from having that attack of like trying to get it out. And, so you like, know it's coming or is it Oh yeah, I can tell that it's coming and it's with certain words and certain syllables and shit. Yeah. Yeah, um, I could feel it coming. I could feel it in my chest. And wow. it's like, I feel like I'm running out of breath to get the word out. Dang, so now a... it's, <laughs> it's so fucking crazy. So it's like a, it's like a, like it's totally, is it mental or is it? It, it can be, too, right? it can be. So but like then a... it used to come in waves in my childhood. Like I would go months without it and then yeah. it would just pick up. You know, yeah, that's um, crazy. It's like allergies or something. It is. It's definitely like allergies, but it's also genetic. My mom's dad stuttered. Wow. So yeah, like like there's research done on how it's genetic as well. Um, and I think is that the end of my weird shit? I think. I think it is. I would never would have known, man. Like I'm really, like, man? I'm flabbergasted. Right really? <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. my mom would pick whoever, me up. Whoever like. Cured you. They just, they, <laughs> yeah. they did like a phenomenal job, man. I want to take credit for it, but I know I shouldn't. But I feel like you it know, like, like it was like all brain power. Or what? I feel like it was, man. Like that's all, I feel like dope, man. they would sort of 
I don't know. It felt like I was going to like remedial classes where like they would have me read sentences and like do like flashcards yeah, and shit. Yeah. And I was like, this is not really helping me. Nah. But I felt like, oh, so you were like, it's, I feel like that that was how it was for me when I was going to like tutoring. It was just yeah. like, nah, I, I know this stuff. This is yeah these are reruns like I know how to read yeah. I just can't get the damn word yeah. out like help me with that so you're just like alright this people ain't gonna help me right so Man. I just sort of went through different bouts of like experimenting with it yeah um well I mean that definitely uh uh feeds into like giving you a reason not to trust people you know what I'm saying oh yeah like it's like I can do this shit myself like, absolutely I totally feel you bro yeah but I feel like I grew up with a really good round of kids man yeah. you know like nobody laughed at this shit yeah I think oh okay so my best like, friend now uh, when she first met me in 8th grade yeah. I said J -j 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 Justin <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the, and she that's the fucking ran away screaming you know <laughs> oh, and I felt man. really bad about myself and yeah. shit but I mean whatever but um, <laughs> you know like you in 3rd grade now, so oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but in third grade, when I would start, my friends would be like, yo, like, take your time. Oh, that's Slow nice. down. That's sweet, man. Yeah, man. So that's sweet, man. I was definitely blessed with the best round of kids yeah. to, you know, have that type of issue. But yeah. um, it still gets me, though. Like, yeah. you it know, like, me. I had to present something the other night at the museum and man oh, I can't, I can't. <laughs> that shit came, it came for your life for came <laughs> right for me Yo. and it made me feel dumb as hell yeah. but other people said they didn't notice but I was like man you know this. I noticed yeah. so um, I think whenever I do things with great practice it helps too like me talking about sun all the time saying yeah. saying those same like lines yeah yeah you got I don't the think yeah. Nah, but like, but at the same time, it's it's crazy because I mean, it sounds like they were you know those lines are like they're in your brain. Oh, like, they you are. Know, when yeah. They oh, pop yeah. out, but it, you still speak with with so much passion and conviction with it that you know it's just it, like man. it's from the heart, man. Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. A, a great thing. Man. Definitely, man. Yeah. Thank you for that. Nah, man. Thank you. Thank for you. Thank you for even coming. Oh, of course, dude. Coming through. How could I not? Yeah, getting locked in, bro. Yeah, uh, you feel good? I feel great, man. All right, cool. Thank you for providing the platform to really, you know, oh, um, man. further dissect and dig and uh, realize, you know, oneself. I think we need more intimate conversations like this in the world, just so that we can have a better understanding of each other yeah. um, and. Um, with ourselves yeah so, thank you man thank nah, you man. That, it's an obligation it's a it's something yeah. I have to do bro yeah I feel that man alright man alright dude Ugh.